Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my video. In this video, I'd like to let you know that I'm back. So I'm gonna be trying to be a little bit more consistent with my uh, channel content. Uh, I'll do my best to keep it up on a daily basis, uh, but do have in mind that there is a war going on in Ukraine, so uh, it could be a possibility that I might drop, you know, <laughs> for a few days. It, I I really hope that everything's gonna be all right. But in any case, I'll be. Uh, I'll let you know if something is really, really up and I'm gonna like, so I don't disappear <laughs> uh, via community post or Discord. Anyway, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the channel updates, what's gonna be happening, what I was thinking about. So I'm also open to your suggestions, your feedback down in the comments below. It's really important. You know that I read all of your comments. So, uh, and obviously, I'm also gonna be sharing with you a list of games that. Uh, I have decided to acquire and play. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. All right, so let's begin with the channel updates. Uh, for those who are new, I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. And uh, the main game for this channel was Fallout 76. Yeah, so that's the first announcement that I'd like to make is that I'm, I'm stopping uh, all the activity I do with this game. Uh, the reason is, well, I try to get back to it and it's just not getting me back in the actual game. I'm not having fun, so I'm not going to force myself to play something I don't want to play. Although it was a great experience, I mean, I played this game for how long? Uh, it was released in 2018, if I'm not mistaken, right? And uh, man, it's four years. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, now, there are two, th three things I'd like to also point out before. Uh, number one, in, in our Discord, the chats for Fallout 76 will remain, so I'm not going to be removing these. And you can get access to them if you go to Access to Chats and click the uh, Fallout 76 icon over here. So the chats uh, with all the bots that give you nuclear codes, uh, it will stay, right? Uh, trade chats and stuff like that, all that is staying. Spoiler chats as well for Fallout 76 will also stay. Maybe I'll add some other games over here for spoilers, but at the moment it's we only have spoilers for Fallout 76. So if you want to get access to that chat, just follow the, uh, the rules on uh, the access chat and you'll get access to it. Uh, the two things that might gonna make me return to Fallout 76 is Nuclear Winter if they will revive it because I did have a lot of fun playing that mod I don't have no idea, I mean I still can't believe they removed it because a lot of people were enjoying that mod and honestly if they wouldn't have removed that mod I would be most probably playing uh, Nuclear Winter with you guys right now uh, but not just revive it and as it was, but to actually work on it as well, like bring new maps, add more uh, functionality, bring new weapons and other stuff. That would be fun. So if that comes back, then I might gonna make a comeback to 76. And if it's gonna be fun, I will start delivering videos with reviews and everything uh, for that game. So that's an one point that might make me return. Well, actually, no. Nuclear Winter definitely will make me a return. Uh, and the other thing is some major, major update. Like, I'm talking about something big, not something small. Uh, like, a brand new big map, because that map that we have right now is like, I don't know, everybody knows it off by heart, man. <laughs> and we need something big, you know. Uh, then that most probably will also get me back into gameplay and also obviously some you know bug fixing because there are still some bugs that are still alive since beta days like I'm talking about for as an example the fast travel bug for bloody builds so need a lot of bug fixing so probably these are the two uh, points that would actually make me return and if the game will keep me uh, engaged, I'm gonna be having fun, then I'll resume content for it. It makes sense, right? 
So yeah, so that's the amount, uh, the announcement for Fallout 76. I'm pausing all the activity for it. If you were subscribed to this channel just for Fallout 76 content, I do apologize. Uh, but it is what it is. And uh, if you're planning to unsubscribe, well, in that case, I would like to thank you for being with me, for supporting me, and uh, hopefully I'll see you later on some other game. <laughs> Anyway, but once again, thank you for all the support and the love you give me, guys. It really means a lot. Now, uh, what I'm planning to do, well, I'm going to be mainly live streaming right now uh, for, like, single-player games, like what I'm doing right now for the Outer Worlds. So kind of, like, stream the game and enjoy the game, then pr create a review for the game, and then create a few guides for the game and move on to the next game. Uh, but at the moment I am looking for a multiplayer game so I can kind of like collab these things like one day I'll play a single player game like live stream it the next day I'll play a multiplayer game so we can play together and have fun and enjoy the good times create a couple of uh, stream highlights you know funny moments haha <laughs> that would be cool if you know of any game right now which is pretty cool on Xbox please do comment down below because I have been looking and I still haven't found what is that I want to play. This is exactly where I get to Nuclear Winter. If Nuclear Winter would have been gone, man, I would be playing Nuclear Winter right now with you guys. Uh, so yeah, if you know of any uh, good multiplayer games, please do comment down below. And obviously, of course, always your thoughts, wishes, suggestions, comment down below. You know me, I read all the comments. Alright, so that's the plan. So a lot of live streaming, uh, reviews for the games that I play, honest reviews, and guides for the games that I play afterwards. So w what I'm planning is to first beat the game, have full experience, and then do some detailed uh, breakdowns for it. If I don't beat the game and just, I don't know, like halfway through I give up, that means the game ain't fun. I'm just going to make a review saying, okay, well, this game didn't work out because this, this, and that, and that. I mean, everybody has their own kind of like reviews feedback right some of you might agree with me some of you might not you know that sort of stuff uh, but I I do have on the list uh, two games that are multiplayer that we could and might play together when the time comes because they're currently not released and uh, they are on the menu uh, for the games I plan to play so I'm planning to play uh, one two three four these are the four games I am planning to share with you just in a moment because all the timestamps in the video you can maneuver through the timestamps and the next main game for this channel cat what are you doing on my PC come on man what's wrong with you oh ever since I moved from my house back to my apartment with the repairs this cat is going crazy mode man beast mode he's just jumping all over the place sleeping on my clothes man <laughs> Hi. Let's back get back to it. So the next uh, main game that I plan to make uh, as the main game for this channel will be Diablo 4. I'll get into a little bit of details why once we get there. So let's start off with the first game that I have in mind that I'm going to be playing and streaming soon. All right, now this game caught me by surprise. Honestly, like a few days ago, I'm I'm subscribed to the Xbox YouTube channel. I see this pop up like. Uh, Mountain Blade Bannerlord? I'm like, hold on a second, what do you mean? This, These are one of my favorite games. I really love Medieval, and especially the Mountain Blade series. I absolutely love them because you can create your army, you can create your entire civilization there, uh, well, w controlling troops. You actually saw me streaming this game on PC uh, back in the day when it got released uh, on PC. I can't even remember, maybe that was two years ago, one year, no. Definitely around two plus years ago. I can't remember exactly when. Uh, but now it's making actually an entry to the Xbox on October 25th. So I'm definitely going to be playing this. I'm definitely going to be streaming this. And most probably I'm going to redo uh, some guides. I do have some guides for this game. But uh, I think they're going to need an update because there have been a lot of different patches for this game. But in reality this game is, is amazing. And uh, all these videos I'm going to share with you, the trailers... Uh, I have I will have the links down below in the video description so basically you start off with the hero and you're able to control your entire armies and y y like you can make cavalry units archery foot soldiers or combined make different strategies 
and honestly it's like a simulator right open world simulator and that's just a blast I just love this game so I'm really excited that it's coming to Xbox and I'm really wondering how that's gonna work because there's a lot of different commands when you're like entering the battle doing sieges for the castles you know it's gonna be a it's gonna be amazing I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it so uh, the map is big over there and it's gonna take some time to play so I'll have the link down in the video description for this trailer and you can review it yourself now the next game that I plan to play is Skull and Bones which is uh, coming out on the 8th of uh, November and you we will be able to play co-op it's gonna be like a sandbox pirate game where you can you know control your ship have different ships to what I've uh, researched so far you can have uh, a cargo ship you can have a, a navigation ship basically that ship will be faster but it it can't hold a lot of different stuff and the uh, the battleship basically the one that has the most cannons and everything but it's gonna be well slow and real bad in maneuvering cargo ship essentially a big ship which allows you to uh, put a lot of different resources in it because you can hunt there you can uh, like you know a mi well mine oh, do woodworking and stuff like that so there's gonna be a crafting system so I I personally think it might be fun uh, although I did hear that there are a lot of different um, feedbacks for this game so essentially I'll give you my feedback once I play this game so this is the trailer uh, for it the game and let's rules. watch it it decides where you belong and what you're worth but you you can chart a new course. Even when death seems a certainty, do not give up. The shores of a new world. You awaken. More determined than ever to carve a life of your choice. Fighting under our own flag, we will take what's ours. Together, we will take on the world. Society may have rules. But today, you decide where you belong. You decide where you belong. We'll finish off. You can finish this off by yourself. There's another video which kind of brings in a couple of points of what exactly Editions you can do. C. Like you Pick can play contracts together, contracts. With other players. Basically some quests and stuff like that. You can go together like kill, kill or be killed, you know. Well... Just watch this video, kind of like this is crafting you'll system. you'll be able to gather as you explore. Gather resources, right? Lagoons and rivers are teeming with dangerous wildlife that you can hunt for animal skins and meat. You'll also be able to harvest a variety of raw materials, such as ore and wood, that can... To me, it sounds fun. So, I really hope that the game is actually going to be fun, because when I first saw the trailer and I'm like, okay, well, this looks something interesting. Uh... I remember back in the day, early 2000s, there was this uh, pirate game as well. I can't really remember the name of it because it was super old, and I and I absolutely loved it. So I hope that this game is going to be pretty cool as well. All right, so I'll have the links down in the video description. Uh, that you can view those videos and uh, also share your feedback about the games that I'm sharing. All right, the next game that I plan to play is 
Warhammer Dark Tide. Oh, by the way, if I mispronounce something, I do apologize. I am from Ukraine. Sometimes I mispronounce stuff. So yeah, this is going to be also a co-op, the same as this one. So we we'll definitely will be able to play together. Uh, all depends if I'm really going to be enjoying this one, then I'm going to be playing that one for a long time. Yeah. Uh, if it's not going to be as good, then I'll just move on to something else. Like, we'll have this as an option. We'll try this one, and then we'll see which one I will enjoy more. And from there, I'll decide which one I'm going to be focusing on. So kind of like in this area. Or play a little bit of both. You know, it all depends. Uh, so this game was actually recommended to me by uh, one of the Z-Clan members, A-Ball. And uh, I did take a look at it. It's actually coming, uh, going live in November, November the 30th. So that's actually pretty cool. And uh, the trailer here, kind of impressive. It's like, I don't know, it's going to be, it, it feels like it's going to be a whole bunch of action. And I'm pretty sure we can make a lot of lolos. Set in the grim dark future of Warhammer 40,000. Welcome to Tertium, a sprawling hive city on the brink of destruction. You are a reject. A convict free to serve the Inquisition in this darkest of hours. It is your duty to fight and, if necessary, die for the Emperor. You can expect no help. No reinforcements. You are Tertium's last line of defense. So yeah, this definitely looks interesting. <laughs> so I really hope that it's going to be like as what I'm seeing and feeling. It's like I feel like there's going to be a lot of action, a lot of lolos. So we're going to have to wait for November the 30th and give this game a try. And the next game will be... And this is the next game that I want to play. It kind of reminds me of Dead Space, uh, but the name of the game is... Uh, the Callisto Protocol, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, yeah, it actually looks pretty cool. Although it comes out on December the 2nd and Warhammer is the 30th of November. So I don't think I'll be playing it straight up from the release date, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but then again, I will be trying to collaborate multiplayer game with single player game. So it all depends where exactly I'm going to be at with the single player game. So, but in any case I do plan to play this because it actually looks pretty cool uh, let's walk let's watch a little tutorial here and then a little uh, gameplay like a few clips once again all the links are down in the video description you can view this yourself and it's actually pretty cool I mean it looks to be also hard well I think it's gonna be hard it's not gonna be something you know Slash and splash. <laughs> Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the dead moon? Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance at rebirth. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely something I want to try playing. Like, this is a little gameplay from what they got. Uh, let's start from here. Yeah. 
So you can see that you need to be a little bit stealthy, so that's gonna be interesting. I assume on a hard, on the super hard difficulty, you'll need to be stealthy. And I don't know what this is, some superpower. That's crazy. Oh yeah, by the way, there was another moment here where, at the very start, where he used that power and threw the guy right into that, I don't know, the drill thingy. <laughs> And then BAM! So yeah, I mean, I'll have this link also in the video description uh, so you can review this yourself, but honestly, this is looking pretty dope and can't wait to give this game a try. All depends when. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's get to Diablo 4, which is going to be my main game for this channel uh, if I don't find something else. Alright, so this game I've been waiting it since the first time I heard about it, and that was maybe 2020 or 2021, I can't remember, but I am waiting for this uh, a super long time. I'm a big Diablo fan. I played Diablo 2 when it came out, like in the 90s, I think, like late 90s, or or not. When, when did Diablo 2 come out? I can't remember. I actually played Diablo 2 Remastered right now as well. So, uh, well, that's the remastered date. I bought Diablo 2. Chick chick. Ah, looks like in two. Uh, ah, Diablo 1 is was nine, 1997 and then 2000, somewhere there. Anyway, you'll be able to check that out. I didn't really play a lot of Diablo, the first first Diablo, but Diablo 2, I played a whole bunch of it. Uh, Diablo 3, it was. Uh, can you ask me? A little bit it wasn't as good as Diablo 2 to be honest but then I did play a couple of Diablo 3 seasons which were fun uh, because it did a lot of changes and stuff like that but Diablo 4 is gonna be a completely different thing it's gonna be an MMO with an open world so totally different from all other Diablo games and everything I freaking dreamed of when I was back in high school when I was playing Diablo 2 like crafting systems mounds you know all of that stuff and that's actually coming with this game so definitely I am hyped about this is gonna start off with these classes more classes to come I mean it is gonna be crazy the graphics there's gonna be world bosses events mini events so basically like uh, an MMORPG so this is something I am super hyped about so I don't think that this game will break anything else and besides it's also going to be as far as I know crossplay between PC, Xbox and PS5 so all of us will be able to play this game <laughs> yeah so man this is exactly what I'm really hyped about waiting for can't wait and it's coming out somewhere somewhere or somewhere in 2023 and I hope that they will not delay this so yeah that's uh, pretty much it for this video so I uh, hope you enjoyed it and if you didn't you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so if you have something to say feel free to comment the only thing I ask of you is not to swear and yeah, as of recording this video, there's still a war going on in Ukraine, so if you feel like making any donations, I did list two links down in the video description for two different funds created by the NBU, which is the National Bank of Ukraine, one for the military fund and the other one for humanitarian fund. So if you have a something that you can uh, donate, anything helps, so I'm pretty sure all of us, myself included, obviously, are very thankful for all the support. Uh, that you guys are giving us since the very start, you know, because we get a tremendous amount of help and uh, Thank you for all that and uh, if you have a something you can drop there So feel free to do so I do that pretty much almost on the weekly and sometimes even daily basis Anyway, so uh, once again, thanks all for watching you all have a good morning day and night whatever you guys lock it in. I'll see you on the next video. Bye From the ashes we rose into the future we